some wigs cost the equivalent of a working man's annual salary. So a wig becomes a sign of wealth and status. And the bigger the wig, the more expensive. So people with a lot of money become known as big wigs. To fund his royal lifestyle, Louis XIV expands his colonial reach into Africa, Asia, and the Americas and gets himself into a series of wars with countries running empires Louis wants his hands on. You could call it the Battle of the Big Wigs in one sense. One of the countries France goes to war with is Britain, and their naval fleet commander wears one of the biggest wigs ever seen. It sits on the head of Big Wig Sir Cloudsley Shovel. Here he is, looking comfortable in Westminster Abbey, wearing his magnificent thatch. <laughs> 